All right. Pigs moved. Look what they did to this. This is one week. One week. They were there just for one week. Last Saturday we moved them there. Now we're on fresh, fresh grass. We had tons of rain last week, so that helped them kind of root all that up. But you can see, I mean, they, these pigs, they can do damage in, in one week. I'm getting big. Good looking piggies. All right. So I said earlier, see, we're not, I like this on the, I always like it on this side. So it hits the sun first thing in the morning. Um, and right now the edge is right over there by the water. So I'm just gonna hook this to, to one of the horizontals. So again, I, it, it's hot, it keeps it hot. It's not ideal, but it works. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Come here. Watch. This way. There you go. There you go. These ones do? Okay, I'm gonna let these birds out and we'll go get Mary. So again, it's not ideal. Look, this isn't this doesn't have to be perfect. This drives me nuts. It used to drive me nuts all the time. It is what it is. You do what you can with what you've got, right? Let these birds out. And again, look how tall we're putting them in. Like, yeah, you know, Justin says they don't like tall grass. Um, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing that. It works for us. <laughs> Over here. Come on, chickens. Come on, chickens. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know. It works, though. Look what they did though. Look at this. So again, one week. One week. It looked just like that. I mean it's 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 probably it's way too long for chickens. They came in here and you know did their thing. And look at that. Disturbed it. That's what I want. I want disturbance. We spread their manure because we moved the, the chick shaw. Every day, and now we move them on fresh, fresh grass. Golden nugget for today. This hose, this hose that we use, worth its weight in gold. I gotta figure out how to do links on Amazon and everything, but this thing is a game changer. It's a hundred foot, it's pricey. It is pricey. Um, but it's worth it. I mean, we've got two of them. It's so light. It's just such an easy, easy moving hose. So there you go. There's your, your nugget for today. I gotta figure out how to, I'm new to this stuff. I gotta figure out how to throw links on our, on our channel and our videos and everything. But I will, uh, I will work on that. I'll throw that. If I can figure it out, I'll throw that in the, in the notes, is that what it's called? Show notes? Don't know. Note section, I'll do it. All right, fresh water for the piggies. This fence is hot. 
Don't want to touch it. Almost there, almost done, and then we'll go milk. Jimbug's over there, just chilling, waiting for us. Mary's in. Natalie's got her in there. <clears throat> Look at these pigs. They're uh, so they're done with their feed, and now they're just they're munching on all this fresh grass. I love it. Look at those things. Happy pigs right there. Eating grass. All right, so it's 8.37. I'm gonna get Natalie back in the house by nine. She's gotta leave. She's meeting one of her girlfriends for at 10 o'clock in town. So, um, about full here, we should be good. I'll get up there at 8.40, we'll be fine. We're cruising. I can typically milk out Mary by myself in about 20 minutes. Um, so again, you get there. The first, oops, the first time I milked Mary, or we milked Mary, it took us like over an hour, I think. I mean, that first, First week, first couple of weeks, first month, you're getting used to it. So it's gonna take time, but once you're in the groove, hey, we can milk out Marion. 20 minutes if we need to. You get a good gallon and a half, two gallons of milk, 20 minutes. All these thistles, it reminds me of Eeyore. We need to get a donkey in here. <laughs> but we're not getting a donkey. Okay, go get this cow milked. How's it going in here? Cleaner? Yeah. Today? Well, no. Oh, she was a mess? All right, so there you go. Big move day. Saturday is always a big move day. Hey, look. The purpose of, of what we're doing here, why we're making these videos, we hope, is, is to help. Um, look, if you're, if you're getting started or you're, you're thinking about doing this, you know, raising your own food, Natalie and I found a lot of inspiration from Justin, Just, Justin Rhodes and, uh, you know, people like Joel Salton, Justin Rhodes. Great, great Judy, it's got a bunch of great stuff with uh, grazing cattle. The point is we, uh, we enjoyed watching the day in and day out, the activities, what, what it might entail, because we, we have no background. We have zero background in this. We grew up not doing this. In the city. In the city, yes, we grew up in the city. Um, And there's a lot of the way we farm, I guess, is unconventional. This is not your conventional way of farming. And, and we're doing it on a small scale, so we're able to, to farm this way. Although I, I think Joel Solitin would argue that you can, you can do it on a big scale. He does it. He, he raises his animals on a, on a large scale, the way we farm, portable, portable farming, rotational grazing, free range, paddocks. So anyhow, that's, that's why we're here. Um, hope to give uh, a nugget every day. I gave you the, the nugget, the, the hose nugget today. And, uh, And that being said, we're, we don't do it perfectly, right? I, there's, there's things we do that people might frown upon and frown against, and, and that's okay. We do what works for us, right? So um, we're not the end all by any means. We're just here to help and give, uh, give tricks and tips and golden nuggets. Hopefully, 
If you're thinking about it, do it. Make the jump, make the leap. It's awesome. It's an amazing thing. It keeps us busy. We are busy in a good way. Um, I guess I don't really like the, the word busy. We're intentional with our days. How about that? We've got plenty to do. Uh, that can be a positive and a negative, right? I mean, uh, talked about, about that in the past. We do take, so tomorrow's Sunday. It's our rest day. Sabbath day, we do take rest. We will come out and do chores morning and evening because the animals are still animals. You still got to do chores, but we don't do anything. Uh, our first few years, that wasn't the case. We were out building, you know, building tractors and building shaws and, and uh, working. There's always something that needs done. Just remember that. There's always something that needs done. You could, you could do this all day, every day. Mary's finishing up the grain again. Yes, we feed our grain. New Country Organics, it's dairy grain. I'd rather not. Um, we're done doing that. We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna move to alfalfa. It's 8.56, so we did it. Hope was to get Natalie back to the house and she's almost there. So um, we'll get the milk process filtered. So we run it through a filter. I need to, I need to film that and show you guys that. Um, and then we throw it in that, in that cooler. Let it cool all day. Usually by the time we go to do night chores in the evening, we, that's when we typically will move the, the milk to the walk-in cooler, ice packs go out in the garage. We do the whole process over again. Come on, Mary. Come on. So there we go. There's our, that's a Saturday move day. It's nine o'clock. You know, we putzed around a little bit this morning. I don't think we got out here till about 7.30. So. And that's the thing. I, I, I truly believe you can, you can make something happen. And we're growing, we're growing our meat chickens, turkeys, eggs, our beef, pork, and, uh, you know, our milk. Sunday through Monday, I think we can... You could knock out chores in 45 minutes if you're, if you're cruising. It, with what we do, I mean, you take that back a scale, you know, take it back a notch, you could do it in 15, 20 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening. Um, evening chores are super simple. I mean, you're just coming up and making sure all the... We, we bring our, our cows up at night, which I don't, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but for, for ease in the morning, I like them here. They're, they're contained. I'd rather have them here in the morning um, as opposed to out on pasture, and then i got to walk out and get them first thing in the morning. We just do it at night. Put the cows away, put the, the hens away, turkeys away, meat chickens away, pigs you don't have to do anything with. Um, you could do this Sunday through Monday, and I say Sunday through Monday because Saturday is our, our move day. Sunday through Monday, 45 minutes. We, we could do it. It usually takes us an hour. Saturday is on a move day, hour and a half. You could probably do it probably an hour and a half to two hours. But what else are you doing? <laughs> what else is there to do, right? I don't know. I guess that's how I look at it.